Hey guys, welcome back to the Physionic channel. Today we're going to be talking about creatine, but of course not really about the performance aspects of creatine. I'm going to be talking about a concern that a lot of people have, usually women, but sometimes men as well, especially when they're going through their weight loss phase of their fitness journey. What tends to happen is people think that creatine leads to weight gain, fat gain, uh, whatever it might be. Well, I'm going to clarify what exactly that means as well as explain the physiology behind the phenomenon. So if you're interested in that, then in a short, sweet science-based video, let's jump into it. Does creatine lead to weight gain? I've seen countless people ask this question usually women, but certainly some men undergoing their weight loss journey as well. The truth is creatine, all effective creatines, will cause you to gain weight. If someone tells you otherwise, slap them. If you see a creatine claiming it doesn't, then it either isn't creatine or it just doesn't work. Now, is this a concern? Well, if you focus your weight loss progress solely on the scale, then it might be alarming for a few weeks. But you're about to be educated on the topic. So why is it really not a concern? And potentially, why you should be ecstatic about a large increase in weight? When you ingest creatine, it gets absorbed in your intestines. Then pass onto your bloodstream, and there it enters your cells. But more specifically, it enters cells that use the phosphocreatine system, which is predominantly found in muscle cells. So, creatine enters the muscle cells, and the cell compensates by pulling water from the bloodstream and any interstitial fluid surrounding the cell. So, imagine if you took creatine and you didn't gain any water weight. Of what would that be a clear sign? The creatine molecule isn't getting into your muscles, making the rest of the discussion a moot point. This is all a moot point. Huh. A moot point? Yeah, it's like a cow's opinion. This means that there is a direct connection between muscle absorption of creatine and weight gain. If you gain a lot of weight, then you would do well to continue supplementing, because your body isn't synthesizing saturable levels of creatine. If you don't gain any weight, then it might be because the creatine you're ingesting is either from a bad manufacturer or you have innately saturated levels in your musculature or any other number of reasons. But at least you now understand what to look for to know it is working. So are you getting fat from creatine? Absolutely not. I'd even argue that because you are getting a performance benefit from creatine, you might see increased weight loss and better lean mass results in creating your ideal physique in the long term. Okay, so now you know how to interpret creatine effectiveness, but how much weight can you expect to gain? That really depends on the person. It could be nothing, and we know what that means, all the way up to several kilograms, the higher end being for men, usually. Now you are better educated and can answer the question down to the physiological minutia. Hopefully if you found this video informative, then uh, I would appreciate it if you shared it to anybody who actually uh, doesn't really understand how creatine works, or if they're taking a special type of creatine that doesn't uh, make them gain weight, or whatever, whatever it might be, or if they're afraid that they're going to gain weight uh, during their weight loss journey. Hopefully this will help dispel a few myths as well as uh, educate them as to, yes, you will gain weight, but does it really matter? No, and actually it can be a pretty positive sign if you have a particular perspective about it. So, 
With that said, I will hopefully have the pleasure of seeing you in the next video. Have an awesome, awesome day. See ya.